monsters, they blink with one eye at a time. I can't, I can't even do it without blinking double afterwards. It's like physically impossible. Totally awesome, useless information. So, all right. Welcome back to part two of my three to four part series from my most recent Dollar Tree trip. Um, if you didn't catch the first part, I will link it in the description below. It was primarily um, decor and makeup items. Um, I decided to split it up into multiple parts simply because one long video would have been at least 40, 45 minutes long. So I didn't really want to do that. So um, today's part, I'm going to show the techie type stuff I got and then the toys, of course. Um, I should have probably done that one first because my son has been begging me to have his toys because he wants to do his own video on his channel because he got some, some stuff he wants to do a reveal with. So I'm going to knock that out today so he can have his toys. So I will um, jump right in. Um, if, if you're new to my channel, um, my name is Jenny and this is More Than A Pretty Face. Thank you for stopping by. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel and um, I appreciate you stopping by and you know, thumbs up like the video if you do, but as well, please, please subscribe as well. Um, so, all right. I've seen these lots of times before. They're not necessarily new. Um, they are new to my store. Um, I've seen them in other people's videos, but they've never actually had them at my store. And it is the uh, Garden Stake Solar Lights. Um, I haven't tried them out yet. I don't know um, how well they work. Uh, I guess I need to pull the tab first. But uh, they are, they're pretty bright. I mean, they're, they're decent. It's, in, it's really bright in here, so you can't really tell. But they are, um, you can adjust the angle that you want them to shoot up and they are solar powered. Um, they do come apart, um, but uh, they have the pull tab. Make sure if you do grab some that you make sure they do have the pull tab still intact. Um, that way, you know, they have not been running in the store, you know, running, I mean, it's solar powered, so I guess it recharges the battery, but I like to get the ones that have the tab so that I know that they haven't been running yet. I don't know if that matters. It matters to me, so. Um, I, did, I picked up four of those to stick out front um, in front of our uh, house so we can do some some more up lighting other than the lighting that my husband's already installed. Again, this, you know, this is kind of like the broom. If y'all caught that video where I got the, um, the broom with the different attachments, the first thing he said when I brought it home was, we have a push broom in the garage. And this falls in that same category as I thought I was doing something to help the house with handy projects apparently i wasn't but i am going to do something special with them myself so i'll take pictures after i get them installed <laughs> so and they are not i mean they are they're dollar tree they're not going to be your um you know your solar lighting kits that you get from home depot or from lowe's you know whatever um but uh for a dollar they like i said they they seem to work so we'll see pictures will be coming um, next, I just picked up their standard candle lighter. We go through these like crazy. They work great for the grill. They work great for candles, especially when your candles start to burn down really low. It's really hard to get down in there, you know, with a regular lighter or we don't smoke. So we don't typically have lighters around the house unless someone's left one here. So it's just a lot easier to, to light candles. And they tend to last a pretty good time, um, longer than the, um, some other ones I've found and they stand up much like the ones that you get at Walmart or anywhere else. So not bad for a dollar. Next. Okay. So I've seen these in a few other videos and I'm hoping they work for what I got them for. I ordered, um, a backdrop to do, um, when I, when I do like BoxyCharm or Ipsy or any of the subscription boxes I get, um, I would just, I, since I'm showing a lot of times images right here, <laughs> right here of um you know the the price points or the actual shot from the website i like to post it here <laughs> and it's easier to focus on if there's like a, a just one continuous background instead of having like the rest of my house or the tv in the background so i've ordered um a backdrop from amazon 
I'll include that link in the website as well. It is beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's gold and it's got like the, um, almost looks like it's sequined and it's like fading down. It's very pretty. Um, in fact, I'll post a picture right here for y'all to see before I post the link. And um, it, I don't have a backdrop stand per se, but we um, create, with those extension poles from Dollar Tree, um, we, took some, we took two of them together and then added some copper um, tubing in the center of them to where it made it long enough because it's a seven foot long, seven foot wide backdrop and uh, it works perfect um, on our dining room window because it's an oversized window and it's like seven eight feet um, wide and so we kind of did it to where I can take the curtain down I can put the backdrop up into the curtain rods and long story short, <laughs> these clips, I'm hoping, hoping, will um, hold the backdrop to the makeshift pole that we made. So I will keep y'all posted. And if you follow my channel, subscribe so you'll see, hit the notifications so you'll get the notifications when I post it. Um, I've got a boxy charm that's headed this way. And I hope to be able to use the backdrop when I film that one. So keep an eye out. Stay tuned. Hopefully these will work and you will see my new backdrop. I really hope it works because it's so pretty. Um, oh, okay. So the last two techie items I have. Um, I always look at their, in their cell phone section. I will constantly, their USB cords and their charging cords, actually, they're great. Um. We always keep one in the truck. My son runs through them like crazy. I don't know how you lose a charging cord as many times as we do in this house, but for a dollar, I don't really care. I'm not gonna go to Sprint and spend, you know, 12, 15 bucks on one when I can grab one for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And it's literally to charge your phone. So I do, you know, I, I pay attention to their cell phone um, products. In, fa in fact, their um, shatterproof screen protector is amazing. Um, I've had one for years and, um, my screen has yet to be cracked and I drop my phone like crazy y'all and, and it never fails. When I drop it, I always drop it face down and this, the screen protector may crack, but the screen itself never cracks. So for a dollar, you can't beat it. And they are like the, they're the, the glass style, um, screen protectors. So don't like, don't discount their um their cell phone products because they are they are pretty good and so i grabbed this it's the ring phone holder i have one on the back of my phone and it's been on there for so long that it's the um hinge has come loose and so it just kind of flops and it does not serve its purpose anymore so i'm hoping that um this will work if it does it does if not guess what it was a dollar so not a big deal not a big loss now the next one I was shocked to have found it. I um I had a selfie selfie ring for my phone, the little clip-on style, and I had had it for a few years. And um, when I went to plug it in to charge it the other day, the charging port had come loose and had like fallen into the light. It went into the light <laughs> and it died. Um, and so I was like, well, crap. I didn't want to get a new one. I have the actual one, you know, for my normal setup in my bathroom, but I don't like to drag it and move it and you know whenever I film in different places in the house and um so I was like well I need to get a new a new selfie ring light it just so happened the day after it went to the light um we were in Dollar Tree and they sell them there like I was crazy shocked um I've never heard of the company and I'm gonna feel stupid if it's a company I should have heard from or heard of but it is by Bauer and it is the, I already opened it to check it out. So I'm going to take it out so I can show you all the packaging first, but it's by Bauer and it's just the clip on, if I can get it to focus, there we go. Clip on ring light works with most mobile devices, rechargeable. And it comes with the charging cord. This is the cord that came with it. And you can actually plug it, um, if you have one of the adapters, you can plug it right into your phone while you're using it, or you can charge it into one of the wall chargers. And then it's got the little instructions that are inside this little thing here. A dollar, a dollar. These are like eight and 10 and $12 elsewhere. I mean, they're like, they're even on Amazon, you're gonna pay like at least six or seven. So, oh, uh, hello. 
And it just, like I said, it's like any of the regular ones that clips on your phone. But it's pretty bright, y'all. It's um, It's got three different uh, light. And this hasn't been charged very, you know, I charged it last night, but it's I've been using it today. So it's lost some of its um, brightness. But um, it's pretty doggone bright for a dollar. Hello? I keep saying that a lot. Like, y'all obviously know it's a dollar because it's from Dollar Tree. But I have to emphasize <laughs> the importance that it's a dollar. So I was excited to have found that. Um, I should have bought more than one because, you know, me and technology and electronics, we don't always get along. But um, so that's it for the the techie part. Um, and the next is the toys. Um, and I've got a bag of them. Oh, and the bag. Hello. Okay, so they came out with their summer um, reusable bags. And, oh, this one is so cute. I love it. Um, I love anything 4th of July themed, anything patriotic. I am addicted to these bags. These bags have changed my life. I have probably 30 of them at this point. I keep them in the truck. They go everywhere with me. Um, my boys even know if we get out, of the, they get out of the truck at the store, they grab the bags and bring them on in. And, okay, so used to go to the grocery store, you know, Kroger, Publix, Walmart, wherever, you come home, you have 75 plastic bags to bring into the house and you've got to play the game of how many trips can I condense it to. And um, on top of that, afterwards you have 75 plastic bags you have to figure out what to do with. And I mean, which we do, we use them around the house, but I don't like to have 11 million bags in my house. So sorry to use these. Not only are you reusing a bag, which is good for the environment, but it reduces your amount of trips to and from in the house. They can put so many more groceries in this bag than in that teeny tiny little Walmart bag. And I love it. And I just, I, it's all I use anymore, no matter where I go, Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, Kroger, Publix, everywhere I go, I take these bags. My husband even does it. Yeah, I've even got him on it. So grab them. They're great. They're great quality. They are a dollar, but they they really are um, a good quality. Now, I will say this. Look around when if you do decide to get some and make sure when they're, where the tag is, um, make sure it's got the plastic um, tag attachers. Attachers, I don't know what to use because sometimes they'll have them stapled and it'll tear the bag up. I've had that happen quite a few times, and in fact, they've stapled them like where the handle goes. And so, I've gone to use it and it's weakened it and the handle's broken off. So, just make sure you get the ones that have like the plastic, um, like you know, like a price tag would be That's my advice. Okay, so the toys I have no idea what this is. It looks super cute. Um, I would open it and show y'all, but he wants to do it on his channel. But it's called the Zoo Balloons. No, Zoo Balloons. Zoo Balloons. Everlasting Balloon Animals. I don't know, y'all, but this is what it is. Block that light so y'all can kind of see. But it's um, Zoo Balloons. So I'm assuming it's like those little pop things where you the pop balloons where you open it up out of the package you pop it and it like inflate self inflates and you have like the little mylar balloons i don't know i will post a picture after he does it and show y'all what it is so by the time you see this video you'll know what it is but it looks cute and it's got this little stand i'm guessing that you put it on to display it when you're done we'll see it's cute of course scott had to get him the we love these we we are a bath bomb family. We, well, I shouldn't say family. Me and my youngest, we adore bath bombs. We love them, love them, love them. In fact, they did a <laughs> on his channel. He's, I've told y'all before, he is infatuated with unspeakable. And so he loves to, to kind of mimic on a lower scale the challenges he does on his channel. And they did one the other day in the pool. It was a bath bomb challenge. And it was, um, they threw like 30 bath bombs in the pool. And then they did a dive challenge to, um, that was fun to clean by the way, super fun. Um, they had to see who could get the most dive rings with the darker colored water. It was interesting. But, so the, um, the Crayola ones, they, these turn the water into paint colored, like the consistent, not the consistency, it doesn't make it thick. 
the deepness of the color. They are amazing. And they don't stain. I was afraid it, because y'all know he uses my tub. He doesn't know how to use his own tub. But um, I was afraid it would stain the white, um, the white part, the whole tub is white. I was afraid it would stain the tub, needless to say. And it doesn't, it didn't sit in the jets. It didn't, you know, it didn't discolor anything. So, um, and they show on the back, you know, you can get the different, um, the different bath bombs and you can mix them to get different colors. And they're, they're, they're two colors. Um, like this one is green on the outside and it's got blue on the inside. And the green part isn't what colors the water. It's this center part that once it, once this disintegrates and you get to the blue part, it's just like a color explosion in the tub. And um, they're fun. Like I said, they smell really good too. Um, this one is ocean berry. But um, green, blue, teal. So it turns your water to teal by the time it's done. They're super cute. Got pink and purple, red, yellow, orange, every color of the Crayola rainbow. Uh, and then Okay, and then of course this, I have no idea what this one is. Every time I go, there is a new line of the Lost Kitties toys. If y'all aren't familiar with those, they're the ones that like have the little Play-Doh. And you have to dig out all the little parts that go to the little kitty cat character. They're so cute. So this one is Itty Bitty Lost Kitties. And it is a kid. It is a baby bottle. I just realized that, y'all. I just realized that this is a, an actual baby bottle. Um, but it says there's 32 collect, 36 to collect. Um, and it includes Itty Bitty Lost Kitties figure, meme sticker, collector sheet, shaping compound, each sold separately. So there's not going to be any um, accessories with this one. It's just going to be like a little figurine. Um, it's like the, the mini version, I guess, of the big ones on the carton. So it's, it's Play-Doh with a little figure hidden inside. So, and I don't know, I've told y'all before, some of them, um, some of the blind bags and the mystery packages, they'll include a number so you can kind of differentiate between which ones you already have. I don't see that on this one. Um, I don't see any type of identifying number. So this one, I guess, is just get what you get and hope it's not a repeat. Um, oh, okay, so these are relatively new. Um, I've seen them. We've never bought them. Um, so we went ahead and grabbed more there, but it's the grab them, and it's called Grab a Bubble. <laughs> but it uh, blows a storm of tiny bubbles. Watch them swirl, touch them. Uh, so blow bubbles you can hold in your hand. So this, I believe, is just like the regular, just the bubble mix. And this is like an actual little like bubble apparatus. It says, open the bubble storm pipe, take out the jar of bubble solution inside, close pipe and open jar. Okay. Rub the opening of the jar lightly across the tiny holes at the end of the pipe until they're covered by a thin layer of solution. Do not pour or use too much liquid. Aim the pipe upwards and blow gently through the mouthpiece to blow out a storm of bubbles. I don't know. Sounds cool. I don't know if it'll work, but they're the same um, solution. This is just a different bubble blowing method. <laughs> I don't know. He's nine. He'll figure it out. And then, of course, anytime we find them, we have to get them. Ended up grabbing five of let me get them all out. The teeny boos. Love these. They're so cute. Um, we fight over them, in fact. Whenever he gets them, I'm like, well, I want to open the pink one. I want to open the purple one. I want to open the orange one. So, funny story. When we did his video with the last time we grabbed them, we got four. And of the four, we got two sets of twins. <laughs> we opened them and we got two of the little dragon unicorns and two of the little seals so i'm hoping that these are different in fact he did a little giveaway on this channel because he had extras he had, had you know told people comment below if you would like one and he would send them to you so he ended up sending them all out so hopefully these are different if not we'll have another giveaway so i love these y'all they're so precious and they are definitely more than a dollar if you find them anywhere other than dollar tree so these also we have not been able to um find any type of num Nope, no type of number that shows if they are, um, if they're different or not. So you just luck of the draw and it shows each series on the back, um, which ones you can get. And so I think these are all series three, I believe. 
uh, yep, we got all series three on these ones. So I'm excited. Let's turn it up this way. So I'll be excited to do those with him and I'll let y'all know if we got duplicates or not. The last item. I was shook. I have seen these in Target. I've seen them in Walmart. I have seen them at Ross even. Um, and they're not a dollar. Definitely not a dollar. I mean, shoot, they're $6.99 at Ross. And Ross is already going to knock it down, you know, by whatever. So, I don't have a little girl. This is not for my son. <laughs> this is for our friend's kid. Um, this is my friend's daughter. Her birthday is coming up next month. So um, I went ahead and grabbed it to add to her birthday stuff. So I will not be able to tell y'all what it does until after her birthday party. Unless I go online and look it up and see what it does. But it's the Party Pop Teenies Double Surprise Party Popper. Y'all, what is Dollar Tree doing? This is crazy. Every time I go, there's like another $10, $15 toy for a dollar. Now, I can't find the one that everybody's been showing. It's the um, the space thing. It's off of a video game my kids play. I can't think of the name of it right now. But I haven't been able to find any of them yet. I'm hoping I do. But, so it shows on the back um, all of the, what it does. Um, it's pull and separate poppers. Reveal your bonus surprises. Um, and it's got one, two, three, four. Four mystery surprises, a sheet of stickers, two confetti poppers, and a playset. All in this for a dollar. That's crazy. So, I was excited to find this for her. She's going to love it. And she does the videos with my son, too. So, um, maybe when she's here, we'll get them to do a video together with it. But, uh, yeah, so that's all I have for this part of the haul. Um, make sure you come back. Um, I'm going to have part three of showing what I got, and it's going to be the um, a, a tableware video. And then part four is going to be a video of the actual tablescape put together with the new dishes that I'm so glad I finally found. Um, so, yeah, so it's going to – be another video but it's going to be the same outfit because i'm just going to hit stop and i'm going to hit start again so <laughs> i will see y'all back in the next video like i said make sure you check out the ones previous to this and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you um like i said i, I say in every video i appreciate those that are here if you're still here thank you so much if you're returning thank you for coming back um, and if you're new, welcome. You'll find all kinds of stuff here from Dollar Tree hauls to um, any five below other stores, makeup, um, videos, tutorials, uh, unboxings from subscriptions that I do. I get a lot of PR boxes sent my way. I am a makeup artist um, and I get a lot of PR boxes from different companies that send them to me to try out. So I do those videos here as well. Uh, every Wednesday you will find a get ready with me and a chit chat video. <laughs> those are fun. <laughs> Never know what's going to come out of those. Um, and then every Friday, Saturday, Sunday ish, I try and get, um, a Dollar Tree video up. So, and then in between you never know. So like I said, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Make sure you hit the bell so that you stay up to date on all of my latest uploads and videos. Also, follow me on Instagram at jwaltmua or check out my website, jennywalton-artistry.com.